Hello everyone, so today we start a new project and I think this one will be quite familiar to you because we reviewed the original kit quite recently and here it is. So it's a boomerang from Zvezda and it's a completely new tooled release from this Russian manufacturer in 170 second scale. So that's why it is interesting to build it and see how it works all together. Of course I won't be, let's say, playing with um, some scratch build and other stuff I will be building completely clean model uh, out of the box but I will try to replicate some weathering to make it more interesting maybe we'll choose a different camouflage from what is offered in this kit so let's open this box it's as you remember uh, this side opening box with the brown cardboard box inside and we have quite impressive parts count here because it was more than 190 parts in 170 second scale. This is quite unusual in my opinion. So here we have all the sprues. Let's remove the assembly manual. So it is printed as a black and white brochure. Maybe we can close the lenses a bit, zoom out, maybe like this. And I just want to show you the first step which will involve the turret. So as you can see, turret should be glued out of several panels. It will be quite an interesting process. So we can begin. Let's move to our cutting pad and work on plastic parts.
So we continue our build and the next stage, well, I primed and painted the base layer. So you, here you can see the vehicle or boomerang in a base color. It's, as you can see, light sand color. And the main hint here is that I decided to copy the modern... Uh, let me close the lenses. It will be more understandable what's the shade. So it will be a modern uh, Russian digital camouflage which was applied on the Terminator as far as I remember on the second version. So I would like to depict it on the boomerang because well this vehicle is not that widely used in the Russian army so that's why in my opinion it gives you opportunity to play with the marking option and that's why I applied this uh, pale tan first as you can see i masked all the areas which should be remaining in the pale tan with this masking tape i just used some random masking tape which was in my drawer so there is no ad and this is not some kind of special masking tape but the next stage will be orange brown then we mask some sections of the orange brown and we apply red brown to get the third shade and that's pretty much all i mean quite an interesting three color camouflage and i hope Hope it will be looking good on the uh, boomerang so we will see and by the way small hint that these wheels are not glued into the place do not worry it will be easy to take them off and then install with these tires by the way regarding tires so here I found quite an interesting thing. We have some pre-molded features. If you look carefully, you'll find the name and also the size of this tire, just like on the original vehicle. But it's so, I would say, it's not that easy to notice and that's why it's barely visible and it's so subtle that I mean it's barely unrecognizable and of course I will have to send a bit the tire pattern because I mean usually tires are kind of uh, slightly used I don't want to depict the showroom vehicle so that's why it will be also weathered once it will be on the vehicle and as I said Next step now is orange brown and I will try to show you what is the result and then we mask it again and apply the red brown. So let's go. So we reached the final stage of the painting process. As you can see here we have model with all masks applied but now it will be important to remove them carefully in order not to damage all the sharp borders of this camouflage. I truly hope that they will be sharp because as you can see there are some small bits of the overspray on some parts so we will see how it will look in the final stage. So let's go with the mask removing process. As you can guess from this frame, the build is finished and I will show model in a second. So all in all it was quite an interesting build and here you can see this boomerang in its final shape. And in my opinion it's a decent kit for all 172nd scale fans. You can see that it's a great uh, wheeled vehicle, modern one to be replicated in such small size and you don't have to worry about any fitment issues. It's really nice 
this and I think it might be even suitable for uh, beginners and overall I did not encounter any challenges I think this kit also has a great potential for some improvements because you can do some things even with your own hands and tools maybe with real bit maybe uh, with uh, metal wire maybe with something else maybe you can do an interest in let's say diorama base because it's also a good subject for diorama base but you can see that overall this is a pretty much standard build I just drilled several things for example the main barrel so that it will look a bit better but it's not that noticeable in such small size and also I did some enhancements let's say the sanding for the vinyl tires but that's also barely visible in such small scale I would say so that's why I'm saying that it might be suitable for a uh, for beginners who would like to build something special and you can notice that I decided to replicate a slightly different camouflage It's a digital uh, marking for uh, modern Russian vehicles and obviously this is not uh, used yet let's say on boomerangs but still it was interesting to see how this marking option will look like on this vehicle and you can see it looks quite I would say suitable for this vehicle it's a modern uh, AFV and that's why it looks more or less decent altogether what was a bit tricky is the front mirrors on I mean on both sides because when you install them you will have to be careful in order not to break them and you can notice that they are slightly misaligned on my vehicle why because I broke the right one several times and I had to glue it in the right place the same can be said about the rocket launchers you can see this one again the right one is slightly uh, depressed because it was also I would say slightly tilted during the assembly process so you have to pay attention to all these minor things they are a bit tender from both sides the same can be said about antennas but other than that I did not find any possible difficulties so uh, be sure that you get a quite funny kit for a reasonable price and I can only recommend to try it and with this I can say that's all for boomerang build Stay tuned for a few shots around this model. I will include them into this build video. But again, I would like to thank you for joining me on this journey. Stay tuned for the next project. And I will see you in the next video report as usual. Thank you for joining and bye.